Hey you guys and welcome to Become Renaissance with uh, some more videos. Uh, Regina and I were researching and we found a really good program. It's called Fritzing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now and let you take a look at this. And uh, in the description box I'm going to include a, a download link so you can go ahead and download that. I believe it's both Mac and Windows friendly, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's both Mac and Windows friendly. So we'll go ahead. This takes takes a little while to load up. Once it's loaded up, it's smooth running. Sorry, this is a this is a an example of a complex uh, breadboard that I'm working on right now for the Arduino. Um, you can see here that you get you get to have your uh, your connections here, you get your basic LEDs, you have your servos, and it's really neat because when you drag a pin, for example, this button here, you can see that it highlights the rows that it's occupying with the pin. So if I were going to go ahead and open up a new one. I can kind of show you what the process looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and drive this over a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and select our generic uh, breadboard over here to the right side underneath the core parts. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag, let go. It's going to load up there. And to say on this breadboard we want to include something like a LED pin. That's pretty simple. I'm going to drive this here and you see before you even drag it on there it's going to highlight itself in purple to let you know that there is a connection there. If not, it's going to stay its normal colors like so. You drag it over, highlights purple, you let it go. And it signs itself. And as you see the rows here, highlight in green so that you know that this, this row is going to be occupied by that certain pin. Alright, uh, also our connections, it's really, really simple and really user friendly. If you just go ahead here, if you notice that there is a little blue dot that will just pop up right underneath this little crosshair here. You'll click it and you can drag it and you can take it anywhere you need to go in any row. And you'll notice that the yellow is highlighting so it knows, so you know what row it's taking up. Sorry, we have an intruder! And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and drag another one over here. It's as simple as that. If you can go ahead and click these, drag them over here. If you wanted to bust them on an entire bus, you can see that it highlights itself all the way across here. There's a little break right here. So this would occupy this row and if I wanted to put an Arduino board, or anything like that. This could be a positive and this could be a negative. But remember, this, the side with the kink in it is going to be the positive side and that's going to lead to the power and the short end is going to be ground or negative. Uh, and that's basically it. This is, I mean, it can get more advanced. You can have your slide potentiometers over here. You can have your basic P channels. Um, if you know what you're doing, you're, you're going to have a good, good time with this. You can get advanced with these, uh, these components over here. You can also change your view to oops. You can also change your view to schematic, which gives you a obviously a schematic view. Um, but we have nothing hooked up to it yet, so if we no power source. Uh oh. All right. Let's see if this can having some technical difficulties. There we go. So if we had say an Arduino board to provide power for this device. This pin 13, we're just going to give it power, and we're going to drag the power to the bottom bus, I believe. Since this is connecting the longer pin, or the pin with the kink in it is positive, so that connects here. It's where it connects to this bottom bus here, and this bottom bus has a power of its own, so it's going to be positive. So if we just branch this positive off to the uh, LED pin 13, which is going to provide the power for the LED light. Uh, for the negative end or the short end of the LED, we're going to connect this to the upper bus. We're going to connect this. We're going to click and drag it right over the G and D, which is just ground. So that'll be there. So it looks, it can get confusing if you start putting overlapping uh, the wires, but it's okay if you know uh, how to read schematics, which is pretty simple here. So if we wanted to, we can drag it to make it a little simpler. You can see we have the ground here on the bottom of the LED pin. This is a symbol for LED. Um, and uh, the power is coming from D13, which is just pin 13. And you also use a PCB view, which I'm not too familiar with, but if you know what that is, then it can be really useful. So that was just a basic intro. We can probably get a little more complex as we go along with more of our Arduino tutorials to see uh, what this really can do. So Fritzing is an awesome program. I thank those who made it. It's a free program. Um, and it's available in the descriptions to download. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace!